Good morning, welcome back. It is Wednesday. Hope your week is going good so far. <clears throat> As you see by the title, we're going to rip another one of these. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of these. We still have a lot of them to go. And then I was looking, uh, arranging my stuff. I actually have a box of these as well. So I've got a bunch of the value, the markdown ones, plus a whole new factory case or factory box of these. So 12 more packs. <clears throat> but again, it's been a lot of fun searching for hits and and you know numbered cards and all sorts of inserts got a few insert sets off to the side out of these that we're working on once we get those finished up we will show you those and there is a really really janky looking little uh, zoom and scroll didn't work out too well maybe it will work out better tomorrow we rip our pack open we do have a code card on the back which is always nice because we have a hit we can cover it up if we don't expose it too fast start off with kevin harvick who had that <clears throat> rough race on sunday now i don't know how you guys felt about the race sunday night but when william byron spun out almost exact same way harvick did nascar was right now ready to throw the caution for byron and they let Harvick limp around the track at like 40 miles an hour for two laps and didn't even bother throwing the caution. So I thought that was a pretty raw deal there. Chase Elliott, I think he finished, what, 13th? Brandon Brown, have not heard from him at all this year. Michael McDowell had a nice run in Atlanta. He always runs good on the Speedway pack racing tracks. Kurt Busch, like to see him behind the wheel again. Stefan Parsons, rated rookie. Jeremy Clements, still looking for his first top 10 of the year. Richard Petty, after his 200th win in Daytona. Jeb Burton, who won in the Xfinity Series at Talladega earlier this year. Dale Earnhardt Jr., who said he's added a second race to his schedule this year. I can't remember what they said it was at, but he does have two Xfinity Series races this year. Bill Elliott. Do we get three bills in a row in this? I can't remember. No, we don't. We get Ryan Newman. Rusty Wallace is next. Followed by Kyle Busch. Alex Bowman. Kurt Busch. Danica Patrick, who apparently is in the 2023 sets. And what's this? This is a, ooh, a nice red. Richard Petty numbered. 98 out of 299. Wow, that looks nice. Then I think we're going to have our Carolina Blues behind it there. Austin Sendrick. Santino Ferrucci, rated rookie. Bill Elliott. And Ryan Newman. Then we have an optic of Haley Deegan. Holding her cell phone. And then a Dale Jr., Horribly off-centered Carolina Blue Wave Optic. Brad K under the lights. Kevin Harvick. Action-packed. Who's that? Jimmy Johnson. Elite Series. Denny Hamlin. Victory Laps. And then our foil board or checker board or whatever they call it now. Where are we going? Is it going to be an Elite Series? It looks like it's going to be an Elite Series. No, it's going to be Under the Lights of Jeff Gordon. I don't know about you, but this pack was definitely loaded. I mean, that car, or this card looks amazing. But it plays second fiddle to our 98 of 299 Richard Petty Race Kings. So... Just barely, because that one has a better look, but this one being a numbered card and of Richard steals the card of the day by a whisker. So let me know down below what you think. Again, I think that the, you know, being a numbered card, Richard Petty, it's pretty sweet, but a Jeff Gordon, the Under the Lights, Blue Wave, or the Under the Lights checkerboard, that thing just pops as well. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Make sure you come back at noon. We're going to have Fast Packs up once again. We are still doing the 89 Donruss Wax Packs. Since it is All-Star Week, figure we'll just kind of maintain status quo. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you later.